Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the Newark and Sherwood series, a district of 84 civil parishes right in the centre of Nottinghamshire. Come with me as we delve into one of them. Today in Newark and Sherwood, I've got a really peaceful one for you. Now, last week you saw Ekering, and if you thought that was peaceful, this is on another level. I've been here about 20 minutes already and I haven't seen a soul. That tells you how quiet it is. This is the gorgeous little village of Maplebeck. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. This Newark and Sherwood video is sponsored by Past Days, a family history blog by June Terrington. You'll find a link in the description. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Maplebeck is situated in the rolling countryside of the Dukeries in mid Nottinghamshire. It's small but beautiful, with large mature trees overhanging its lanes and ancient hedgerows. Situated in a pleasant vale, this is just five miles north of Southall, which is the nearest town, despite the village's post town being Newark. Despite its size, Maplebeck still has a lot to cover. Here, for example, is a converted chapel dating from the mid 19th century, although there had been an earlier Wesleyan chapel on this site. Speaking of religious buildings, the church here is of great interest. It was originally a chapel belonging to the Knights Hospitaller associated with the hospitaller's camera at nearby Winkburn. The new village hall opened in September 2015. It's the building to the right of this shot. According to one local, Google Maps still shows the old village hall. It's well used by the whole community. That's a community, by the way, which is ever growing too. Only 20 years ago, Maplebeck had 74 inhabitants and that rose to 96 in 2011. Now it has well over 100. Here's the basic info. Without a doubt, Maplebeck's prettiest area would be the sizeable village green in front of the parish church. And there's more on this than meets the eye. On this low wall, there's a plaque. Maplebeck is known as a thankful village, having suffered no fatalities in World War I. Cromwell and Wigsley are the only other two in Newark and Sherwood. There's also a memorial here for a plane crash. A Wellington bomber crashed here in 1942 at Brex Farm on a training exercise. All the crew are buried at Ollerton Cemetery. The church next, this is one of only five churches in the country with a dedication to St. Radigand, a 6th century Thuringian princess who was reluctantly married off to the Frankish king Clothair I. There's some mystery surrounding the dedication as the church appears in records as St. John up until 1895, possibly being rededicated at the time of an extensive restoration in 1898. It dates largely from the 13th century. It has an octagonal brooch spire and terracotta tile roof. It sits on raised ground in a churchyard with an ancient yew tree thought to be the oldest in the county. It's always good when a church is open. I was looking for a light switch, but I can't seem to find one. So we're in the dark, sort of. Mind you, there is a nice bit of light coming from this window here. Let's see what we can see out of this. So oh, not much. <laughs> and there you go. This is the uh, beautiful little church in Maplebeck. It's fabulous. I tend to find I don't know why this is. I tend to find little churches like this are more likely to be open than bigger ones 
in bigger villages for some reason. Each year, Maplebeck holds a village garden fete. This year, it was held on the 25th of June. It's quite the idyllic setting, as Maplebeck is quintessentially an English country garden. To make this one a circular walk, you can follow Church Lane to its very end, where you can pick up a footpath to the hollows, running around St Radigan's and close-by properties. This then is the part of the route which doesn't really have much in the way of visuals, so I'll bring in some more history next. The Markham family were associated with Maplebeck. They once had a big hall here which was taken down in 1666. Sir Robert Markham, the father of Sir John Markham, Lord Chief Justice of England, would marry the heiress of Sir Nicholas Burden, whose family had held the hall for many ages. A considerable portion of this village was given by the Burdens to Rufford Abbey, which with the manor and the grange was at the dissolution of the monasteries given by Henry VIII to the Earl of Shrewsbury. So all those footpaths I took earlier, they were all uphill. Now we're coming downhill down the hollows. And this basically just runs back to where I began at the uh, village hall. This is not as steep a slope as I'm making out. In actuality, it's pretty gentle. It runs past a building which to the untrained eye might look just like a house. This is the Beehive Pub. The original building dates back to 1803 when it was known as the Gate Inn. That was until 1844. This claims to be the smallest pub in Nottinghamshire. It's just a few paces down to the village green again and a side road joins here. That's the road to Winkburn, Maplebeck's southerly neighbour. Public transport in the village does exist. The service that runs out here is the 330, which connects Maplebeck to Newark two days a week on Wednesdays and Fridays. The bus shelter acts like a parish notice board, so I duly obliged and stuck a TVI card here. I didn't find a notice board anywhere else, to be fair. Okay, I'm back at the village green. Not much more to do. All I've got to do really is walk down there to where I began. One for the finger post fans yet again. On the edge of the green and standing next to the bus shelter is this old Nottinghamshire Council sign. In 2016, a defibrillator was installed in the redundant phone box, thanks to the valiant efforts of hardy cyclists who raised the money for it by a coast-to-coast -coast charity bike ride. And that's pretty much that for Maplebeck. It's a wonderful little village which minds its own business whilst welcoming visitors with open arms. Just passing the village hall again, there was two people outside it. There was a, a man and a woman. And uh, the woman was explaining to the man about how some counties have their names. Uh, some of them say Shire on the end and some don't. I was itching to join in with the conversation and explain a little bit more about uh, how counties work in the United Kingdom, in, in England I should say, not the United Kingdom. But uh, <laughs> I didn't, I opted to carry on walking. <laughs> Right, we're done with Maplebeck. I've literally got to walk a few more paces back to the car. Uh, there's no picture bit today because this one's far too small to warrant one. It's just time for me to move on to my next one here in Newark and Sherwood, which is not too far away. It's about a mile or so down the road. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Nice small one for you. I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and for now, I'm out. <laughs>